Figgy Fiends and Collectors, it's me, Daniel East 1000, back again, gracing your devices. Yeah, I know it's been a while, there's not really been that much released. Also, the fact that it's been slowly approaching to my birthday, but nonetheless, there was this one thing that's just been released recently, and to be honest, I wasn't really that bothered about it. I have no real personal connection or affiliation with this character, or even thing that it's from, but I saw it. And I was like, I sort, of, sort of do need it. <sighs> so, nonetheless, we're going to be having a look at Gaming Greats Zalbar. I really don't know much about this character, so. Here's the packaging. Comes in this nice bevel edge packaging that we've all come to know and love with Black Series now. You've got the Gaming Great sticker. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, of which is what the character is from. Star Wars the Black Series at the top there. Picture of the character, Zalbar. And on the back, you've got a picture of him again, along with a bio and the usual legal MacGuffin. So that's the packaging out of the way and done with. On to the figure itself, of which the only thing that I can tell you about this character is what the box tells you, and that's the fact that this this guy accompanies Darth Ravan, comes with a big sword, he has a big sword, he's a Wookiee as well and more aliens the merrier is my thing. To have another alien in my collection, that's great. This figure is basically, from what I understand, a repaint of a pre-existing Chewbacca figure we've had. This has lighter paint apps than any other Chewbacca that I've seen. There's some nice highlights there. The paint application on this guy is fantastic. I'm really, really impressed with it. I don't know if they've reused or re-sculpted the head. There's something looks a little bit new about it, but it wouldn't surprise me if it's just because of the coloration on it. The only stuff that I can truly tell you that is new on this guy is the big long sword that he comes with and this red strap of which he's got on him. It's not like the bandolier that Chewbacca has, it's just this big red sort of strap thing that's going on. So essentially this figure is basically a repainted Chewbacca. Now, fair game to Hasbro, I don't mind it when they do repaints. This one is a little bit cheeky. Repaints always do feel a little bit cheeky. Me personally, I'd probably be more on board with it if I knew more about the character. So for those of you who are a fan of the character from Knights of the Old Republic, you're gonna have your cake and you're gonna eat this and you're quite happy with it, I think. So I can't really downgrade any marks in that area. I think it's a fine figure. It's cool to see more characters from the Knights of the Old Republic being made. I hope they do more because I would like to see more. But on a technical standpoint, it's nothing particularly new. It's nothing particularly innovative. Nonetheless, let's have a little close up at this guy. That's just some of my initial thoughts on him, really. Um, like I said, the paint application, I think, is the main thing that really draws it and makes it something different. At least in terms of six inch black series, the coloration of used on this is much lighter than the Chewbacca figure that we've received before, so that differentiates it slightly from that one. The hands as well are uh, painted lighter. Other Chewbacca figures have had like darker hands across the feet as well. They're painted lightly. As I said, you've got these red straps. You know, they look a little bit dented and battered and worn which is nice to see. There's a clip on the back as well, of which you can hook the bowcaster into. The bowcaster is effectively a repaint of the one that comes with Chewbacca, and in the box it comes separate with the front piece off, like so, and that just snaps in there, like that. And like I said, it is repainted. You've actually got some paint on there, so you've got gold on the balls, black on the actual handle, and then the rest of it is grey. Every other Chewbacca that has come with this has just been a one block colour. So to have some coloration and some breakdown on that, it's quite nice to see, something quite different. Clips on quite well, it's a nice storage option. I think the thing that would make Zalbar quite iconic and different from Chewbacca, and the reason why I've got him displayed as such is with the sword. That sword's really, really cool. It's very, very long, and I really like it. I'm sure there's an official canonical name for it. It's cool to see a Wookiee with a sword like this. It looks like it would cause quite some damage. But it's very long, um, it's almost, it's just shy of being the same height as the figure, but yeah, it's, it's quite long. And uh, you can, as I did display, have him hold it in both hands. There's uh, some nice colour on that. I would have liked to seen some sort of wash on it in terms of the handle. You've got a gold handle there, silver at the bottom, some nice little painted detailing. 
and of course the sword is in silver. It's very different, very sort of oddly ornate. Quite a good word for describing the sort of aesthetic to Old Republic from the images and things I've seen. There's a lot of ornateness. I do kind of like how visually different costumes and things are. It's still Star Wars, but just different enough to make it its own era sort of thing, if that makes any sense. That's pretty much it in terms of what he comes with. In terms of articulation, it's the same as any Chewbacca figure. He has the ball joint head, which is quite limited due to the fur that's sculpted. Ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed elbows, ball jointed wrists, ball jointed torso, ball jointed hips, swivels at the tops of the thighs, ball jointed knees and ball jointed ankles with the rocker joints as well though it's quite limited just due to the fur. For me personally, like I said, I don't really have a personal connection to this character but I'm sure those of you who are big fans of the Knights of the Old Republic are going to be absolutely thrilled with this. I mean I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for characters from it to be made. Maybe this one in particular. I'm glad for you guys that you've got your cake and you can have it. Although, personally, I do have to say, I think they could have done something a little bit different in terms of a character choice for a line such as Gaming Greats. There's plenty of other video gaming characters outside of Knights of the Old Republic that I would have loved to have seen. But again, for some reason, it's Hasbro insistent on reusing sculpts. I really want them to push away from that and use new sculpts for new characters and really do a gaming greats line justice, particularly as it is the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm this year. It would have been nice to see them celebrate the whole spectrum of gaming greats. That's just me personally. I'm curious to hear what your gaming great pick would be for a Star Wars Black Series figure or 334 inch vintage collection figure. What would you choose? Let me know your choice. That was probably a really short review. I don't really have too many things to say about this Wookiee. So this is me, Daniel East 1000. Sign out and thank you very much for watching and... Yeah.